don't settle for fakes. My dual taining is the real deal. Hey everyone, back Lord. I just got to car with my Dolce. I just ate some French toast, and I'm right in time for the new mini uh, main box release, rather Soul Flare Lightning. So um, I've been spending most of my day in leveling up Quinton. Um, so quick one on that. Very happy to see that we're getting not one, but two Dark Destroyers. Absolutely insane card for Cosmo. Um, maybe good enough for the deck to actually be tiered. I don't know, but it's an incredible card. Maybe it can work with uh, this very specific skill, allowing you to send back two Cosmo Machines in order to get the Dark Destroyer. Um, I think there is potential for like, Cosmo to be a, a very good rogue-ish deck from this point forward. But let's start the topic of today's video. Today's video is all about the new main box, Soul Fair Lightning. So I've already made a quick review of this um, main box in a video where I was really sick. Looking forward to putting two in Gearsus, two Galatea, and um, back to the front of I minute mean, where I have two, a third one wouldn't hurt. I guess I could also pull three Galaxy Treads, at least one Soul Flare Dragon, maybe play the new version of Galaxy. I already have Security Dragon, I only have two, two of this, oh my god. And um, Chronomaly Binama, which um, according to Cyber Dragon Guru, might be enough for like Cyber Dragons to actually have a decent turn one setup. It's a light machine, it um, is a monster negate that doesn't destroy, it's not... It's basically a weaker for on strike bouncer, all things considered. But maybe that's what Cyber Dragons need. It's a deck that is still very capable of putting gain, just lacks that turn one ability to do anything. Also, probably has a couple too many cards on the Forbidden Limited list. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna pull um, until I have like 459 gems. I so like let's say 100 pack. See what that takes me. I'm gonna reset as soon as I pull Dink and Gala together. Millennium Gala, wow, that's such a card that exists. Also, something that I noticed that my chair kind of fell. Maybe it was when I moved my uh, webcam too, but I used to be like seem taller than that on video. Gagaga back, what is this? Destroyed by. Okay, let's stop reading that. It took your buster, they gave it to you a rocket launcher, which is very funny. Millennium Gala, orchestrated release. God go. Yeah, it would. It's not the worst card I've ever read. But it's close. <laughs> oh, are we up to a good start? Air traffic control. Combat controls three or more monster can decline an attack. That's a mid floodgates, but yeah. Psychos. Okay. S force justify. So S forces. I'm not really interested in, but could be a very interesting, important artifact. Uh, um, archetype, not artifact. It's for showdown. That's not the worst card. Hmm. It's Force Professor Di Gamma. Hmm. Okay. That's bad. No, that's not the worst. Let's admit. Magistus Invocation. Also, don't care at all about Magistus. Numeral Hunter. This card is actually sort of decent. Like, wow. It's really cool. Alpha and Break. And Artemis, the Magistus Moon Maiden. I think the most interesting part of this card is that it facilitates uh, the inclusion of Invoked as an engine in Mech Knight decks, which would be the other engine. Uh, <laughs> this is basically create a, a it's a normal summon that becomes a column and also gives you some like kill potential in the uh, late game. If you make Phoenix with uh, Purgatrio. If you, I don't know. We'll see. This I think this card is interesting and could definitely see play in like invoked variants. And I think Mech Knights would work great, even though we don't have Mechaba. Which Mechaba, Mechaba, I don't care. Um, Millennium Golem. Cool. I have a place it now. Phenomenally Temple Three Tom. This one is like pretty good. It's recent support, but it's really neat. Orchestrated Einsatz, unfortunately not good enough to see play. Look and Stampede. That's so funny. That is so funny. Gaga Guard. Nope. 
Zubaba Buster. This one's not new. Orchestrated attack. Um, if only they didn't have that first line of text. XYZ Revenge Shuffle. Orchestrated Einsatz. And Go 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 Talisman. Orchestrated Core, which also I don't think is good enough to, to cut it in Orcus deck. The second Death Force Justify. Wow, the full both Death Force Justifies in the first 10 packs. And Go Go Talisman, Psychus, YouTube Your Bastard, so. Uh, pretty good first 10 TBH, like 3 SRs. It's not the worst. On to the following 10 packs. Narrow Pass. Okay. It, it only works on normal summons. This is the worst build game. Orcus Brass Bombard, which pretty cool. Works well with Link Periver. Orcus Symbol Skeleton. I already have like three Arporas, so I don't have to dig back and do the old box. What this is? This one's not new. I just didn't pull the um, Chronomaly Mini. Mind of a Matter. Gonna be such a good card. Progression playoffs reference, by the way. Mm. Air traffic control. Oh, it's air traffic control, not air traffic. Makes more sense. Mind protector. Well, it's got nuts in another box. Pretty sure it was. Guard go. Discord. Um, potentially a really interesting side deck staple for tournaments. Against uh, synchro centric decks, which would be pretty much exclusively resonators. I'm sure that you can make something out of the um, out of synchrons, but it's not going to be as good as it used to be. I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> wow, that's why I get to talking shit about synchrons. I don't think this one's going to be seeing much play on ladder though. Orchestrated release, Gaga Shield, World Legacy Trap Globe. Uh, it's bad. S Force Platina, pretty decent card. Magistus Theurgy, what? Okay, I didn't read all of that. Staring Contest, not too much text. I'm not gonna bother reading. Endymion, Magistus of Mastery. Castle Link. You can target one Link monster on the field. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Why? <laughs> so it's the Raven Shuffle, Symbol Skeleton, Gagaga -ga -ga Back, Discord, Chronomaly, Crystal Chrononaut. This <laughs> so funny, it's just depoting. <laughs> Why? I've got to get it for an attack, then control by battle cal effects. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's so bad. Uh, Discord, Orchestrated Attack, Nightmare is really good card. Um, really good Orcus cards. Probably don't want to be playing this in. Uh, you probably don't want to be playing Orcus without a uh, Babel, so you're not going to be able to like make Mermaid into Orcus Nightmare. It's probably for the better. White. <laughs> What? There's no way this card is new. It's for Platina, Crowley, the Magistus of Grimoires. Oh, that's Alistair when he was a youngling. His stats are like the opposite of Alistair. That's very cool. I hate Alistair. Not so great. Not so great. Uh, Rejuvenation. Star Changer. That's bad. And Dinian to Magist again. Thrithon. Number 31, Embodiment of Punishment. So this one, I think, is a really interesting guy. This and his um, pal, which I think is Embodiment of Sin or something, um, basically create a lock that is kind of hard to... Like, impossible almost to deal with, except with non-targeting... Uh, rather non-destructive removal. Which I think is pretty good. Um, embodiment of Crime, rather. Number 13. It's in the card text. I can see it. Uh, but yeah. 
Now I think this card is cool, probably not like meta defining, but really cool to, to build a deck around with like Jet Synchro and Glue of Bulb. Like level ones that can revive themselves. Um I just I just like it, little guy. Orchestrated Einsatz. Um I guess you could also book a moon it. Full full head, this four specimen, chrononaut. A juice, Archangel, go 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 ghost. Castle Link, Mario Kutai, S4 Gravitino, also a really good card. There's an S4 card that like bounces back to the hand. This guy makes sure that a uh, monster that would get bounced back to the hand in its column would be are going to get banished instead, so pretty strong. Um Brass Bomber, Trilithon. Orchestrion. Not good. <laughs> really not good. Uh Whitehall, Digama, and Demia. Magical Abductor is a good card, Star Changer is not. Orchestrated Return already have like three copies of it. Rejuve, Custom. I didn't read Imperial Custom, what does it do? Bonomatsu pick up. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Probably gonna need the um selection box exclusive Bonomato cards to really reach the deck pool's potential. But like people who have this card. And uh, Onomato Pickup are going to be like, it's going to be a really annoying deck to to be facing. Just, ah, I hate this already. Uh, Imperial Custom. Oh, oh, it's the one from Pygis. No, it's bad. Third series of 10 packs. Let's go. Oh, could be it. Could be to buy the lightning. That's a really good card. Basically, this card reads: um, make Utopia and then beat over anything. It doesn't. It's not what it reads, but it's just wow. It's really good. Um, I can't read like it doesn't have any effects if it's made the normal way though, which is really silly. Um, but it's basically a five thousand. Like in the TCG, it was like. They had a reputation for being in out to pretty much everything for a long, long time. I don't think it's played much anymore, unfortunately. Specimen. Bad. Bad, bad. No, that was a good card. Sorry, Magical Duck. Bad. Uh, bad. 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 What is this? <clears throat> Bad. I didn't read it though. I don't know. Uh, World Legacy World Run. Why is the text so small on it? Also, a very important card for August, very specifically. I thought it was an Ice Barrier card for a sec. What the heck is this? It's bad. I've never read this before. Why is this an equip card? Equip monster can be destroyed by opening mid. It's a vanilla. Are you kidding me? It's a vanilla on its own. Wow, this archetype is garbage. It's just a 2500 of vanilla. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a fist. <laughs> One chance at life, parents name you a fist. S Force Edge Razor. Um. This one's decent. Special summons from hand. Um, prevents you or opponent from link summoning link to your higher monsters, which aren't that many of them, but it's, it could be really good against like Core Talker specifically. And Guardian Knot, I know this one is pretty nice. Like it's simple, but it, it works. Colossal Head, Mirror of Kitai, bad guy. Ooh. You were on set, because we back to the France. Yup, third copy of Back to the France. Really important in Cosmo. Uh, the idea is with uh, Tin Can, you're going to select Dark Destroyer. What else? Probably Dark Lady. And the third, like a ship. Maybe it's going to be the uh, one that pops spell straps. Maybe it's going to be the one that um, destroys nothing. Maybe it's going to be the one that protects. I don't know. You're going to pick three. 
Two of these are going to end up in your graveyard. You can revive one of the two with Back to the Front. Maybe Dark Destroyer for Disruption. Maybe Dark Lady. Uh, in order to have a monster to get on the field. Either way, it's a really cool card to have. It's not once per turn either, which is really silly. Really glad about the other Lightning. <laughs> Ten more packs. Ten more packs. Nope. 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 Oh, zero, zero. Okay, that's such, that's a really funny card. Not good, though. Not good. Or is it not good? What spell wall? I didn't read it. Can I pull a second spell wall so I can... Well, I took a long guess here. It's fine. Uh, this thing card is... Eh. It's pretty decent. It's pretty cool. Basically acts as removal with its... Uh, Link arrows, and, um, no, I think this is a cool card. World Wind Psychos, TRG, Galaxy Trends. Now, this card is searchable with the uh, Photon Galaxy skill, which, um, I think is a really, like, wait... Galaxy monster with in your deck with the same level. Ah, oh, there's probably like still ways to make use of it that I'm not thinking of. Uh, but it's not going to be as simple as. Maybe it is going to be as simple as shuffle back galaxy, ice foot on dragon, and then make another rank. I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> it'd be a. Oh, actually, you cannot normal special monsters during the turn you activate the Scarlet Step foot on a galaxy. So it cuts you off like stylish Lord Galaxion, right? I don't know. Maybe I spoke too soon on Galaxy being playable again. There's no one in Spell Wall. Let's... Gishki... Zeal Gigas. Spell Cast Castell. Okay. Your opponent takes no further damage this turn. I am done reading. Zero Zero. Such a funny, funny card. It's good in Relinquished. Okay. Couple more packs. We're so close to the ding. Number 13, Embodiment of Prime. Yes! Really cool. They both have the uh, same effect. Oh, uh, God, go. Staring Context. This bad card. Colossal Head, Guardian Knot. Maybe I'll build Chronomaly. I have, like, no Chronomaly cards from the last mini box, but it seems like a fun deck to be playing with. Platina Chiomaru. This one is a definite three of in any S Force deck. It is insane. It is insane. Specials from um, deck, and you can banish the S Force Chase. I don't think I pulled it yet. No, I didn't. S Force Chase from your graveyard in order to sever this card's cost, which is really good. Also, um, uh, basically acts as, as uh, protection. Mediocre force attack protection. It's a cool card. Orchestrated Call cool Narrow Pass Nightmare. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, could be Ding. Chronomaly Vimana is also pretty dope. Bound One, Air Traffic, Tubaba Buster. It's going to be Compulse, the third copy of Compulse. Um, because I already pulled two because I did spend money on, on previous selection boxes. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm glad about this. Symbol Skeleton, so that's a bait. Um, this is my third copy? Yeah, it is my third copy. That's cool. Pretty decent pulls. V-Mana is, um, really good. Really good. Attach that monster from the graveyard. It's definitely much better when you're playing. Hmm. So you can set this up with three mats turn one. In Chronomaly specifically, maybe. Maybe. One Xyz monster Chronomaly monster on Gregor. Oh, so this could also work in Cyber Dragon if you make like two Novas. Nah, it's probably too much too much work. Um Let's see. Some more packs. <laughs> I 
Nope. Nope. What is this? Oh, this one can at least equip itself. That's bad gimmick. Nope. Second Galaxy Trance. I don't think I'm gonna need to. I don't know. It is searchable. I don't know the setup yet. I haven't looked it up. It is searchable. Also, I would probably need the um, Soul Flare Galaxy Guide. Nope. And nope. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's so bad. It's not even a continuous track. <laughs> Ugh. Couple more packs to go. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, this could be the Galatea. This could be Soul Flare. This is Galatea. Really good. Okay. I think I'm just going to pull one by one now. So I can pull Ding. And reset appropriately. So I don't really care about the rest. I feel like I'm going to pull the uh, Soul Flare Dragon on the second reset anyway. Uh, no. No one interested. S4 Chase. There, that's the card I was talking about. Target face up card drop and it controls up to the number of S Force monster you control with different names. Return them to the hand. So it's basically a mask on Pulse card. If an S Force monster you control would banish a card from your hand, to activate its effect, you can banish this card from a graveyard instead. It's pretty good. Pretty good card. IP Mascarena, by the way. Can't wait for this card to drop to Duel Links someday. Yeah, it's probably too good for the Duel Links. You just make a Nightmare Unicorn and win the game from there. I don't know. My protector. Oh, what's the XCs? Oh, I pulled it again. Well, this is an equipped card. The equipped monster can make up to two attacks. Wow. That's one match. I get one level four. Your spell casting graveyard into your hand. That's pretty decent. Okay, so I get one well, card is equipped to a monster. Can make one basic card. In your spell trap zone and one spell trap you can control. Destroy them. Ah, it's not. It's not the worst card out there. Wow. Okay. Why did they put this first equip close and the second equip close as like the first and the third effect? Doesn't make sense. <sighs> we did pull Galatea, so I'm just going to be really careful with my pulls from no one. Um, I'm gonna, probably going to spend all my gems. Just want to pull one ding. That'd be cool for now. You definitely need to if you want to play Orcus, because the first thing ends up in Grave as part of your combo. So you can revive it later. I, I should make an Orcus guide. Resonator Cly made an already like really thorough and interesting Orcus uh, guide. I'm gonna do one better. Not gonna be better, but it's gonna be more fun, hopefully. That's my that's my trademark. I make everything more fun. Pack openings, usually pretty boring, but when you're watching them with Mechlord, suddenly it becomes really fun. Because Mechlord is there, and he says funny things. Staring contest, I didn't read this card again the first time. When you special summon, okay, okay I'm done reading. It's miserably uninteresting, but Mechlord said it. Yes, that's the ding, that's the ding, that's the ding, 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 yes, too. There we go, I can reset the box now. Am I going to miss out on anything if I reset now? Um, only if I want to play S-Force. Or if I care about this card, which I don't. I'm going to reset. <laughs> Alright, back to 10. Back to 10. And then I can only do that, like, twice. And I'm going to call it a day. That's going to be the end of the video. I'm only interested in Orcus. I'm not interested in anything else. Nope. Soul Flare! See, I told you I'd just pull Soul Flare Dragon anyway. This card is decent. This card is definitely part of your turn 1 setup. I'm, I'm trying to think what else is part of your turn 1 setup. Like, what other Photon card? Or Galaxy card? There's probably not many. There's probably not many. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the second Dingetsu! Wow! If I could pull the second Galatea, I'd be very happy. Come on! Ah. It's okay, I still have like 10 more pulls and then 3 more pulls and then I can do the quizzes. And um, it's all gonna work out, baby. Without spending real money. Nope. Oh, come on. It's fine. Oh, the third Galaxy Trance. Ah. Nah. Ah. Oh, high thoughts. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the last three. My galaxy is that close, I can feel it. Well, it's in gonna mean not this one, but the next one for sure. Pulled it. <laughs> I got baited. It's fine. It's still an Orcus Link monster. I got. I guess the game got confused. Completely fine. Uh, but yeah, very neat pull. I could. I, I got two Link long uh, Dingiesus. Two Dingiesus in one day. This card is definitely gonna replace the uh, Galaxy package in deck. Uh, maybe it's not. Because Galaxy Eyes, uh, Cypher Blades, and Armor Axes represent two pub. This one is only one. This one doesn't target or destroy. Um, but it's also weaker, and there are situations in which, like, it's going to be relevant. Then again, this one also has protection, so I don't know. I'm not sure that this is going to retire the uh, Galaxy package on its own, nor do I want it to. Uh, but cool card, we got this Soul Player Dragon, we got Gan one Galatea, probably gonna need two, maybe three, I, I hope I don't have to pull three. Oh, that's Morning, um, not Morning Star, Blue Sky is that side. Wow. That was on Make Night, whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> that's where it starts being. That's his side, that you can see on, on Abraham, and then Galatea's one also? But, wait, uh, Crusadia, is it on, Equimax is the second one, and, that's not the, it's not Scythe shape anymore, but it still works, I guess, wow, I never noticed that, anyway, thank you for watching this video, I'm just flabbergasted here, um, if you'd like to see some, like, the, some replays of the Madolches games that I played up to Kalg, let me know, and either way, I'll see you guys and gals and non-binary pals next time.